Hey friends, Barky Dog here, back with another movie review. This time we're looking at a schlocky horror picture from 1976 called Grizzly. This is the story of a giant grizzly bear that terrorizes campers in a national park during the height of camping season. This bear is no gentle Ben. He starts killing campers and snacking on them. The man charged with dealing with this bear is none other than our old friend Christopher George from The Rat Patrol, El Dorado, and Enter the Ninja, among many other things. Here, he plays the park ranger in charge. Besides the bear and the campers, George has to deal with the manager in charge of the park who wants to downplay the attacks since it's the tourist season and he doesn't want the park to lose business. This means George and his friends are left to fight the battle without proper resources. If any of that sounds familiar, it should. It's pretty much the plot of Jaws, only in the woods instead of the ocean. <laughs> uh, this picture is gory, at least it was for the time. It isn't as bad as the slasher movies that came after. Here there's quick cuts of attacks where people get splashed with red paint. There's some slashy makeup, maybe you see a limb go flying, that kind of thing. Uh, the, the, the movie isn't really bad, but it could easily have been better. One dimension missing, I think, is the nature of this bear. It's treated as just a killer animal, which might be a missed opportunity. It might have been more interesting if this bear was depicted as more of a spooky force of nature, taking revenge against mankind for cutting trees down or something, but they didn't go there at all. This is just a large killer grizzly bear that attacks out of nowhere. George is very good as the ranger, as is Richard Jekyll, who plays a sort of Jane Goodall type who embeds himself in the woods to study wildlife. There's a chopper pilot, uh, played by Andrew Prine, he's good. The cast is okay, the locations look good, and you can really buy into this story. This movie actually made a crap ton of money when it came out, earning over $39 million in box office, a lot of money back in 1976, and a record haul for the time, for an independent release anyway. It held that record until Halloween was released in 1978. Uh, fun fact, the movie poster for Grizzly was made by the famous comic book artist Neil Adams. A year after Grizzly, another Nature Gone Wrong movie came out called Day of the Animals. It's often confused for Grizzly because it starred the same actors and had the same producer and director as well as the same pair. <laughs> Uh, that's another schlocker. Maybe I'll get to that one sometime. There's also a movie from 1977 called Claws. This was another grisly attack movie which was marketed under the title of Grizzly 2 in hopes of riding the coattails of its more successful predecessor, but the two movies have no real connection. There was a half-assed attempt to make a actual sequel to Grizzly in the 80s. It would have starred George Clooney, Laura Dern, Charlie Sheen, and John Rhys Davies, but it was never completed. A work print is available called Grizzly 2 The Revenge, but it really has very little in common with the original Grizzly. Grizzly's producer was a guy named Edward Montoro. He was a shady character and kind of a crook. 
He made a lot of B-movie schlockers and sexploitation flicks in his career, and he was the forerunner of those crap low-budget studios that rip off Hollywood blockbusters with knockoff pictures with similar titles and themes. You know the ones. He got sued on more than one occasion, usually losing. And one time was because he ripped off the director, writers, and co-producers of Grizzly, deciding to keep all the profits for himself and not pay them what they were owed. They won the case. Later, during a messy divorce from his wife, he stole all the money from his company and skipped the country. Whatever happened to him after that is still unknown to this day. Maybe a grizzly got him. <laughs> I'm giving this one two paws. It's not the worst thing ever made, and it's even entertaining in its own way. There are some jump scares and a lot of grizzly bear action. Grizzly is available on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and digitally from Amazon Prime. Well, that's all I have for you this time. I'll be back soon with another video, if a grizzly bear doesn't get me. <laughs> In the meantime, you take care of yourselves, okay? And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>